Don't forget to pray. But don't be ashamed to pray. And don't be too proud to pray. Because prayer, prayer changes things. Prayer changes things. I don't care how dark it looks for you. I don't care what, what they done said to you. I don't care what the verdict is. I don't care what the haters say. Prayer changed things. I'm talking to a girl that I grew up on a block, man, that it didn't breed success. A lot of people on our block ain't here no more, man. I grew up in a place, man, that was, that was you had to be something else you come up out of there. Prayer changes things. I was told I would never be nothing. Prayer changes things. I flunked out of school. Prayer changes things. I'm on my third marriage, lost everything I've owned twice. I've been homeless and lived in a car for three years. Prayer changes things. The cool thing about prayer is the one thing that's available to everybody at any given time. Do you know that God ain't ever too, he ain't ever too busy for you? You know that God actually knows who you are? Do you know that God actually created you to converse with him? Do you know that God would actually love to hear from you? Do you know that I like talking to him even when I don't really need nothing? Quit playing with this here. You're not going to make it without God. If you've tried it so far, tell me how that's working out for you. It suck, don't it? You need God. Don't, don't you think I got here without him. I've needed him every step of the way. If it wasn't for God, I wouldn't even be standing here today. Quit being ashamed about it and worrying about who looking. Go somewhere by yourself today and tell God you need some help. Tell him that you're just tired of trying to figure it out for yourself. You can't be tripping with my walk with him because my path ain't been like yours. This is my version of being saved. All you got to do is get your own version. You ain't got to change. God work with you. God take anybody that want to be saved and he saved. So just like old people used to say, I'm just a nobody trying to tell everybody about somebody that can save anybody. Two things, my dream and my faith. Faith is the belief in things that you cannot see. You can never lose faith. That's the key. You have to believe in something that you can't see. You have to believe when you can't, when you don't see no way how. You have to buckle down and keep believing. God is always coming. Here's the deal. The moment you ask God for something, he boxes it up and he ships it to you. Here's the problem with the package. He never gives you the date that is going to arrive. It's going to come. He just don't tell you when. If he told you when, it would destroy the relationship that's required to have an abundant life, which is faith. If God told you you were going to be rich in August of 2021, do you know how crazy you would talk to people from now until then? Because you know, on August 21, I'm going to be rich. But he don't tell you when the package is going to arrive. So here's the deal. He wants you to stay in faith to receive the package because he only delivers to faith street. If you step off over here to I Don't See How Boulevard, he don't ship there. If you get over here to I Don't See How Circle, he does not ship there. He only sends the boxes to Faith Street. So when he sends it and you'd have moved off Faith Street, the package got to go back. It's just like UPS or the post office. If they send you a box and you ain't home, they take it back. That's how it works, man. Let me tell y'all something. Being successful is not a magic trick. You just have to learn the principles of success. 
I ain't got no degree. I got nothing like that to tell you about. I didn't finish school. I flunked out of school. I'm on my third marriage. Lost everything I've owned twice. Been homeless, lived in the car. I am telling you, your education ain't got nothing to do with it. No, man, it's your dreams and visions. A man without a dream or vision should perish. It's what God puts in your imagination for you to have. Everything God wants you to have, he puts it in your imagination. Albert Einstein said imagination is everything. It's the preview to life's coming attractions. Everything you imagine is God showing you a preview of a coming attraction he has for you. And he puts it in your imagination so you can see what he got for you. So if you've been imagining that you're going to be rich one day, it's because God wants you to be rich. Now, when you going to ask him for it and are you going to wait for it to happen? Or are you going to lose faith? How you know what God's will is? It all happens at an appointed time. But you have to stay in faith for the appointed time to happen for you. I've been wanting to be on TV since I was 10 years old. You know how old I was before I got on TV? 38. 38, 28 years after I wrote it on the paper. I won't be on TV. It took me 28 years to get on TV. But it happened at an appointed time. I just never gave up the faith. I kept going because I ain't know how to quit. Because I know if I quit, it cannot happen. If you stay with it, you have no idea what can happen for you. You can't quit because get hard. This dude that lost his legs, he's still, he still funky with it. You can't quit because you got your leg, but you tripping for. You, you can't quit, man. You got to stay with it. Somebody having it way harder than you, and they didn't give up. You're tripping, man. Get yourself together. God got a great life for you. I'm telling you, God got a plan for you that's so out of sight, it would trip you out. All you got to do is ask him for it and wait on it and be willing to work. Faith without works is dead. That's all you got to do. You don't need no education. I flunked out of school. You know how many people I got working for me that got degrees? Everybody I hire got a degree. Because I know I ain't that smart. But I got money for you. Bro, you got what I don't have. I'm, you gonna take that 150 and help me get this billion? I got 154 billion. How God give me this and He won't give it to you? Look at me, I've been up here cussing. I made mistakes, but God don't ask you for your perfection. He asks you for your consistency. There's none perfect, no not. I'm gonna give you the two scriptures that changed my entire life. Now, I had heard these scriptures growing up, but it didn't, it didn't sit with me until I was homeless. The first scripture, you have not cause you ask not. Now listen to me. I cannot tell you how important that single scripture is. A lot of the problems I was having, and you may be having just like me, is because what I was asking God for was the wrong stuff. I kept going to him too small. I was praying for stuff that really didn't need that much of a prayer. You really think God don't know you need another job? He know all of that. But if you don't ask him for it, he can't. God don't give you what you want. He give you what you believe. See, you've been blowing it. If you up your ass, he ups his gill. That's his promise. You have not, cause you ask not. Lord, help me fix my car so I can make it to work. Stop praying over these raggedy cars. Why don't you ask God for a car that don't need fixing? Oh, you think that's too big for him? Is that it? So you don't ask this great God for big stuff because you don't see how you can get it. You're not supposed to see how you can get it. You're just supposed to ask him for it. See, the how-to is none of your business. You keep getting in the way of the blessing because you all up in the how-to part of it. Show me the scripture where he tells you to figure out how to do anything. He don't ask you the how-to nothing. Write the vision and make it plain. Everything you want, you're supposed to write down. 
I'm telling you, man, this is how it works. You know, some rich people don't really have degrees. You just need the word. You need to know what it's saying applied to you. You know why? Because it's a promise of his. He ain't never lied. He always come through. If I was you, I'd try that. If you keep doing what you've been doing, you're going to keep getting what you've been getting. All I ever asked God for was to let me eat. Let me sit at the table with the big boys. Take me from this homelessness that I'm in and fill my coffers with, 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 with spoils. You know how much I have today? I have more than I ever thought I'd ever have. God didn't give me more than I asked for because he got this thing he has called grace. And grace is, I wish, I wish I could buy it. You know, I wish I could buy grace, man. Justice is when you get what you deserve. Mercy is when you don't get what you deserve. He said, but grace is different from both of them. Grace is when you get what you don't deserve. Do you understand that? God has this thing that he passes out called grace. You ever heard old people say, all I want is a little more grace? Because guess what? He passes it out and he gives you things you don't deserve. I do not deserve this life I had. I'm just telling you flat out. The money I make, where I live, what I drive, how I travel, how I vacation, I don't deserve it. I work really hard, but I really don't deserve all this. I don't. I'm telling you flat out, I don't deserve it. But he gave me grace. He let me survive homelessness. He bought me from dark. I've, I've been out. Y'all don't know. I've been in it. I'm so grateful that God let me have this life he gave me that I don't even know what to do. What you see today is a boy that come out the bottom who believed in him when it wasn't no sign of me getting old, who kept doing this thing that his mother taught him. She said, when it gets dark for you and you can't find your way, and boy, I was lost. She said, don't forget to pray. Don't be ashamed to pray. And don't ever be too proud to pray because prayer, prayer changes things. You have got to pray. You know what you ought to get? You ought to, you ought to create your relationship with God. Because if you do that, he going to put some grace on you. And he going to give you some things you don't deserve. Then you won't need no education. You won't need to go and complete the program no more. You ain't got to go over here and ask nobody where they hide. God takes you to places that you never ever thought you could you'd go. I never saw myself here. But that God I serve, he saw me here, and he put me here. And all I'm doing right now is telling you that with God, you can make it. I don't know why he had you come to this show. I don't know why I'm telling it to you like this today. But if you ain't ever tried God, listen to me. You should try him. Because he's very available to you right now. He don't love me no more than he loves you. If God can pick me up. And you have no idea who you really look at. You don't know what I've done. If God can change me, he changed anybody in this world. God is good, man. 